from Picture S Studio 113. It's Focus on You. Tonight on the show, we have Maddie Weber from Kwai Don, Strange Tales from East Asia, and Aaron McNiff from Take Back the Night. And our musical guest is Christophe Rochelle. I'm your announcer, Michael Salazar, and here's your brilliant host, Rob Breacher. Woo! Thank you, and welcome back to Focus on You. So, Michael, how was your spring break? Rough. Sorry to hear that, homie. How about you? Did you have fun in the sun? Something like that. I, uh, I met someone. Do tell. It's no biggie. I spent my break in the Florida Keys, and I met this girl named Nadia Skrleski on the plane. Oh, Skrleski. Uh, that's Latin for chocolate. Why do you know that? So, if you went to Florida, where's your tan? Oh, I went to the paling salon when I got back. You know, I got to have this nice Midwest tone. Oh, yeah. So, what else happened? Michael, I don't really want to talk about it anymore, OK? So tell me about your break. Uh, it was a big letdown. I finished my novel. That's great, man. Congratulations. It would be great. But my publisher fell through when I refused to change the title. Oh, no. Well, what's the title? <clears throat> I am just an ordinary pterodactyl, and there is only one intentional euphemism in this book. Well, what's it about? It's a romance. And I think you mean Pteranodon. They, they changed its name. Whatever, Rob. Next, you're going to tell me Pluto's not a planet. So tell me more about this girl. Well, she was really pretty, and, and we hit it off. We, we spent the whole break together, hang gliding, dancing, snorkeling with manatees. Sounds really nice. Yeah, and I, I met her parents, too, and they were really great. And I bought her some diamond earrings, and we spent the night underneath the stars. Oh, my goodness. That sounds amazing. When do I get to meet her? It's not going to happen. I, I broke things off. Why? She sounds perfect. I don't know, Michael. There was, there was just one thing I couldn't get past. So let's, let's just talk about our guest today. OK, fine. First, we have Maddie Weber from upcoming play Kwai Don, Strange Tales from East Asia, with some of her puppets from the show. Yeah. Well, yeah. what? I have to have some witty joke to follow up everything you say? I mean, I guess not. For our second guest, we have Aaron McNiff from Take Back the Night. Hey, Take Back the Night? That's like a chess organization, right? We talked about our guest. Now back to the girl. Come on, Michael. Why, why, do we even, why don't we ever talk about your dating life? Oh, well, I've been married for four years. What? Yeah, stop changing the subject. Rob, why did you break up with this perfect girl? She was a tea drinker. Oh. Okay. There are just some things that you shouldn't compromise. That's right, Michael. Now for some cool vids. We'll be right back with more Focus on Kangaroo. The weekend anchor at Fox 9 KMSB TV, Timothy Blocks. Right. Thanks so much. Having a good time so far? All right. It's your favorite part of the show, where I get to ask the questions 
Where on Campus is Trevor Bloom. Can you guess where I am? Stay tuned to find out if you guessed right. Haringo is the most comprehensive martial and healing art in the world and is over 200 years old. We learn kicking, punching, ground fighting, weapons, and meditation. We meet just a few blocks off campus in the Meyer Middle School wrestling room on Monday and Wednesday nights, 6 to 7 p.m. Welcome back to Focus on You. Today, I've got Miss Maddie Weber here to promote a, uh, a play that's happening. When is it happening? It's happening... April 24th is opening night, and it'll be that first Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday, and then the following Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the first, second, third. Awesome. That was a lot of, a lot of dates. <laughs> Anyways, what, what is this show? What is... Um, Kai Don is sort of an interesting collaboration of different things. Uh, we have actors, we have puppets, but it's mostly about the ghost stories. The ghost stories are really the key part, um, sort of the overall gist of the show that we have going on right now is that a uh, group of college students are on a summer abroad trip to uh, uh, Japan and they decide to basically break into an abandoned uh, theater in the middle of the night and tell ghost stories and then ghosts start happening. Wow. Scary things start happening and it's hard to explain. Now, have we done anything like this on campus before? Um, not quite entirely like this. It's a little bit similar to uh, last year's Crane's Ancient Wings story, which is another one of uh, Robin Murray, who is our director. Uh, her devised shows mm -hmm. using lots of puppets. She loves puppets. She does she, love puppets. She really <laughs> likes puppets a lot. It's kind of scary how much she likes puppets, actually. There are some in her office. Robin. <laughs> Anyways, um, so what would you say, if for those, I guess, who w w uh, saw last year's puppet show, what, what's the difference between that puppet show and this puppet show? Um, I would say last year's puppet show was about making the puppets seem like real animals. They were sandhill cranes. They were real sandhill cranes. This, we, we know that the puppets are puppets because they're in a bunraku theater, which is a Japanese puppet theater, and they find them around the theater. We know that they're puppets. They're inanimate, but maybe they aren't inanimate. Mm. Extra spooky things. Okay. Um, I didn't get to see the set yet, but I heard that it's, it's pretty different. It is. Um, something that we really tried to push with the set was for the audience to be in the space because the actors are going into an abandoned theater, so is the audience. So the whole set surrounds the entire So everyone's audience. there. Everyone is in the space with them, and we've pulled the curtains in so it's a tighter, more claustrophobic kind of a space. Sure. So um, you've got a friend with <laughs> you. Uh, tell me a little bit about, about your friend over there. Um, this is uh, the startup of one of our puppets. He's okay. not 100% done, so he's not quite as scary. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of freaked out. They are kind of creepy just sitting there. Yeah. It's true. But um, we base them off of sort of the traditional bunraku uh, puppetry style, which is a rather tall puppet. And basically, there's a hole in the back that lets you control oh, okay. a head. And then you put your hands through the sleeves so that you can control the arm and the hands. arms. And then you can manipulate it without the audience necessarily seeing what you're doing. Sure. Um, for those of you guys who don't know puppetry, what are some kind of puppetry basics as to what to do, what don't to do, or what not to do? Mm. You know, because some people feel, I feel like they think that they can just go straight into puppetry. Yeah. Um, something that uh, Robin has really stressed is making sure that you put your focus through the puppet's focus. So say you're, ta I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at you but the puppet's not looking at you, so the puppet's not talking to you. So I have to look where the puppet looks so that the audience's focus stays with the puppet's focus. Sure. So that's, it creates more of a connection, and the audience will pay much more attention to the puppet itself and not to me, because okay. I'm not as important. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the behind-the-scene behind the kind of person. But right. 
pay no attention um, to the people behind yeah. the puppets. Um, so what other kind of puppets would we see in the show then um, compared to this one? In this show, uh, it's mostly this style of puppet, but we do have some sort of specialized marionette style puppets, the kinds with the strings. Um, we have a small bird that's on sort of a fishing pole st style puppet. Okay. And there are some special effects puppets that will probably get flown up into the uh, audience. Oh, really? That would be really cool. Do you guys have a lot of um, audio kind of yes. kind of sounds? and? Um, a lot of audio. The actors have the ability to get behind the audience without them seeing them. So you will get a full 360 of people and audio yeah. and air and air. just nasty, creepy stuff. How many, how many people do we have working on it? Um, the cast itself is 11 people, but uh, there's a lot of people in the backstage area, in the sort of background. It's like, I'm the costumer and puppet builder, I suppose. Right. And you've got uh, Robin, our director, and Jeremiah, who's our dramaturge and sort of our script writer. But it's a devised show, which makes it a little bit harder. Sure. But. All right, well. When are, when are the show dates? Uh, the 24th, which is Thursday, the 25th, the 26th, and then the following Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the 1st, the 2nd, and the 3rd. A couple matinees, right? I think I heard. Yes, but I don't think but they'll uh, be But not to open the to, the, to the public. All right. Well, Maddie, thank you for coming on the show. I, I, never, get, I never get claps, ever. All right. Anyways, bibbidi bobbidi boo We'll be right back with more Focus on You. Looking to fill a prescription? Freeman Drug, your locally owned independent Health Mart pharmacy, offers friendly service and competitive prices on prescriptions, custom compounding, home health care products, durable medical equipment, and more. They are conveniently located on 104 South Main Street in downtown River Falls, right across from the movie theater. We accept most insurance cards and transferring your prescription is easy. So stop on by or call 715-425-2255 today. Health Mart caring for you and about you. Little New York is the ultimate purse and jewelry store. Merchandise comes directly from New York and is all one of a kind. We pride ourselves in our low prices and trendy styles. Visit us today at 127 North Main Street, River Falls, or check out our Facebook page. Family Fresh Market is proud to serve the River Falls area with the full service fresh meat counter. A wide variety of fresh produce including organic offerings, a fresh bakery and deli with great variety of choices for easy meals, and a pharmacy with a convenient drive through Family Fresh Market also provides a 5% UWRF student discount with a valid UWRF student ID. Exclusion do apply. Family Fresh Market. Feed your senses. I here I have Aaron McNiff. Welcome on the show. Yes, thank you. Still no claps. I don't I don't get these guys. <laughs> I have so much power. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Erin. I work with St. Croix Valley Sexual Assault Response Team, and I've worked with them for about seven years now. Okay. So we... SART, SART for short. Oh, yes. SART is short, easy way to think ab about that. Um, we are a nonprofit independent organization that works 24 hours and offers free services to sexual assault victims. So we have a team of forensic nurses that can go out to the hospitals, our own facility in our office here in River Falls, and advocates, and I do all the aftercare work and education programs and such. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So um, you work with the St. Croix Valley Sexual Assault Response Team. How is it? How, how, what, what kind of like experiences have you, have you so far made working with, with these guys? Um, a variety of experiences, some really sad things, and of course the, the trauma that someone goes through isn't always great to work with, but what is nice about it is watching someone make that transformation from, say, a victim to a survivor, mm -hmm. helping them. We work in the acute phase, so I see people within hours of an assault. I might not know what happens afterwards, but I have heard from people a year later, I'm really glad when I talked to you. I'm really glad that you called me back. And the other really good part is going out and doing educations with eighth graders, college, we do a lot here on campus. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just exciting to get people talking about it. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you have, uh, you have this organization take, or this event, Take Back the Night. Mm -hmm. 
give me a little uh, detail into that. Well, Take Back the Night, we started doing it in the community three years ago. So this is our third event. And it is basically an event to raise awareness about sexual assault, give people back the empowerment, and stand up and say that we, in our community, is not okay with this violence. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so is this, is this a free event? Is it yes, free okay. and food. So we offer food, food, probably some Kool-Aid. I know, I know that would probably get me. It's the free food too, with also the cops. But yes, you, you know what I mean. Yes. Like. Um, free event, anyone, families. Um, my kids are there, and we have kind of a rally. We will design T-shirts. People can spray whatever they want on it. You sure. know, stop the violence. I'm letting go of my pain. They make posters. We march up and down Main Street. Um, and the first year we had about a hundred people. And last year we had almost 300. Wow. Yeah. So you really jumped up. Yep. And this year we have so many groups from campus helping us that I think it will be even bigger. Do you have a Do you have an estimate on what you think it would be this year? No, Fingers of course crossed. not. I just hope <laughs> it's going to be really big. Right. Um, we serve Pierce, St. Croix, and Polk County, so we've been trying to plaster posters all over the place. Yeah. So I think I saw actually I saw a couple, not yep. too uh, not too long ago actually. Um, anyways, you, you talked about, in passing, you talked about how this is related to Jack the Ripper. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go in a little bit more detail sure. with that? Um, I think that story is actually really interesting. Yeah. So, Jack the Ripper going around and raping and killing prostitutes. And to stop some of that, there was laws put on women that we couldn't be out at night um, or unchaperoned. And I believe, I might be the wrong, but in the 30s... Um, California did the same okay. thing is where the first Take Back the Night event in the U.S. started. And so a group of women walked the horrible streets at midnight and said, we are taking back the night, taking back our strength, taking back our power, taking back our ability to be free. So awesome. And that's people have used it against domestic violence, sexual assault, all sorts of things. And um, it's just really giving a voice. Sure. Mm -hmm. So when were you first introduced to Take Back the Night? I was 18 and in college, actually. Okay. I didn't know what it was, nor was I very um, uh, brought up or talked about sexual assault. And I just went with somebody, and we had this really big march and speakers and a bonfire. It was very moving. Mm -hmm. And then on campus here, I've spoke at a few of the events that campus has held. And then we just decided to do our own outside of campus. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so then what can people do to support SART and uh, Take Back the Night? Um, definitely showing up. Yeah. Definitely showing up. Um, one thing, we end with a candlelight visual about our events from 6 to 9. So that will probably happen about 8 o'clock. Okay. And an open mic. People can come up and tell their story if they're willing. Just people come up and say, hey, I'm really proud of everyone. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. Um, and that so many people have spoke for the very first time, mm -hmm. held silence for 30 years. And that's why we say shatter the silence. Yeah. So just being able to bring somebody, talk about it, and learn a little bit more about sexual assault and what you can do in this community mm -hmm. or where a person could go. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, Aaron, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> And what was, what was the date again on that? April 24th. April 24th. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's so much to try to get in. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna well, finish. Hocus Pocus. Stay tuned for, next, for more Focus on You. Make a trip to historic downtown Hudson. The Ink Factory, one of the best tattoo parlors in Wisconsin, located on Main Street and open seven days a week, offers great piercing and tattoo work from award-winning artists. Owner Jay Langer has assembled an amazing team to give customers the best tattoo work around. Stop in today and get inked. The Ink Factory, where great art is manufactured.
I'm Tom Shane for Shane Company, and I'm here to talk about an exciting new offer from Shaney. We here at Shane Company have an unfair reputation as being exclusively for old people. As a purveyor of high-octane diamond fun, it's my job to make sure that every generation knows where to get the best diamonds for any occasion. So, I'd like to present the patented Shane Brand Youth Outreach line of diamonds. Hey kids, this one's just for you. Parents, please cover your ears. Hey teens, Shane wants you to know that he's a cool dude, and our diamonds have mad YOLO swag. Our diamonds have as much sparkle as Edward from the Twilight films. Check us out on Twitter, where we have lots of hashtags. Diamonds, hashtag. Gems, hashtag. Sparkle, hashtag. And many more, hashtag. Now that I've shown you how legit our diamonds are, why not purchase one for an upcoming JV basketball game, junior prom, or sleepover? Unlike our totally lame competitors, we've got your back, bro. Because, after all, people change, but diamonds do not. I should know, I've been selling high-quality diamonds for over 350 years. I'm Tom Shane for Shane Company. Now you've got a friend in the diamond business. Hashtag. Welcome to Focus On You News. I'm Colin Cutson. And I'm Kevin Holmes. Here are tonight's top stories. The series finale of How I Met Your Mother aired on Monday. Spoiler alert, everyone dies. Not the characters, just everyone who hoped for a good series finale. It's been announced that Pharrell Williams will be the new coach on the next season of The Voice. See kids, anything can come true if you wear a really stupid hat. Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice has been indicted on charges for aggravated assault and knocking out his fiance in an elevator while at a casino. Later on, it was found that former Baltimore, Baltimore Raven Ray Lewis put a tweet out that stated, Man, they're never going to let it go. I'm innocent, everybody. I didn't kill nobody. Last week, Diddy announced that he is changing his name back to Puff Daddy. In related news, Diddy is still alive, guys! Batman turned 75 this year. For his birthday, Batman realizes that Robin is finally legal. At the 2013 Denver Comic Con, act American actor Will Wheaton responded to a literal question on how to deal with being called the nerd during a panel event. Wheaton gave an inspiring message to the little girl on how to stand up to being bullied and why bullies bully. However, within moments of becoming news, Dr. Sheldon Cooper took his outrage to Twitter, as everyone does, and stated, well said, hypocrite. Students at the University of Arizona rioted over the weekend after their basketball team lost to the Wisconsin Badgers in the Sweet 16, not realizing that they actually won because they didn't realize they, had to, they didn't have to riot in the snow. A man who shot at the White House with an assault rifle in November 2011 was sentenced to 25 years in prison on Monday. If he was mad at the government for being slow, well, he proved that, didn't he? It took 29 months to sentence this guy. <laughs> really? I take showers at least every 20 months, and that's pushing it, so this is ridiculous. Colorado residents say they are being profiled when they drive out of state, saying that cops pulled them over due to suspicions after Colorado <coughs> legalized marijuana. When asked for comment, one Colorado man said, I just think it's really weird, man, that when I pull over to look at the pretty lights in my rearview mirror, that a cop shows up, man. A recent report by NPR says that it would take over a million pages to print out all of Wikipedia. NPR also reported that the sky is blue, grass is green, and Anna Kendrick is a babe. Oh, you think that's like a, by Blair Money? Probably. I don't have it. Oh. Since the recent passing of longtime Buffalo Bills owner Ralph Wilson, it seems that a new owner for the team may not be that far from pursuing Ralph Wilson's recent position. American, American billionaire and real estate tycoon Donald Trump says he will look at possibly investing in the Buffalo Bills ownership. 
which is a good thing, because if there's any place that needs a public housing project done to them, it's Buffalo. Major League Baseball opened up its regular season this week. Baseball is just like sex. You're really cold at first, and then right when you get in a groove, it's too hot to keep going to the park anymore. A petition on the WhiteHouse.gov site is asking for the U.S. to give Alaska back to Russia. Good news, Sarah Palin will definitely be able to see Russia from her house now. Bad news, Russia now has the internet and we're all going to die. For Focus on You News, I'm Colin Cutsey. And I'm Kevin Holmes. Call me ladies. Join Students Today, Leaders Forever. It's a great opportunity to meet lifelong friends, make an impact in communities across America, and of course, travel. If you are interested or have any questions, please find us on Facebook at UW River Falls STLF. We hope to see you soon. TRIO Student Support Services is a program on campuses throughout the United States and was designed to assist students in achieving their baccalaureate degree. If you are accepted as a scholar into Student Support Services, we provide cultural events to expand awareness, leadership opportunities to develop personal growth, community service projects to instill global responsibility and accountability, activities for engaging with other scholars in the program, financial training and education, and academic skills building. The basic qualifications are being the first person in your family to pursue a college degree, meaning neither parent has a college degree, family income guidelines as determined by the federal government, and students with disabilities. That's right, you guessed it. I'm on the second floor of Centennial, next to the vending machines. Welcome back to Focus on You. Oh. Actually, we got, we got breaking news. OK, all right, I'll, I'll tell them. We, we, we actually have uh, the winners of the student senate elections here in River Falls spring 2014. Well, the president is Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Schmidt, Schmidt, Schmidt with uh, 359 votes. Vice president is Shelby Hare with 362 and secretary is Joseph Schmidt with 359. Um, On-campus senators Spencer Bemis with 645 votes. Well, all right. Anyways, now to our talent, Christoph Rochelle. I knew Xanadu would kill me if that crook took me away. But it's still never star a star and roll. I didn't want to play. I starred in your nightmares and I starred in your dreams. Now you star in my broken open snow globe memories I'm a sadly sober citizen Drowning on my innocence a Rebel soldier in a suit and tie The king of the truth in the kingdom of life ha, ha, ha. And all I'll ever need My mother lover and rosebud sled I lost to love and greed My ideals are a punchline My hope is just a joke Burned on the fire My frozen desire My kindness went up in smoke I'm a sadly sober citizen Drunk on the absinthe of abstinence Oh, I'm a sunlit shadow In black and white Everything wrong and everything right. Ha, 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 hi. I wish there were forgiveness. I wish that there could be. I treated all of my headless wives to see the eye I once to see. But now my Valkyrie has left me. And the war is on its way. And the world I've made will die with me. The world I tried to save. I'm a sadly sober citizen. Drowning on my inner sins. Oh, robbed from the rich, but I gave to the right. 
So you have a very unique voice, we can tell. What is your inspiration? What, like, where did you get it from? Oh, well, for that, for that tune, I think it's no, no secret to anyone familiar with Mr. Tom Waits. He was a big inspiration here. Yeah. Could it, I, I can see, like, it affects your, does it affect your voice afterwards? Oh, just a bit. Yeah, that's I usually have, you know, if I'm feeling like a rock star, I'll have a thing of bourbon. But for that song, I have tea and honey, which is lemon. Good for the throat. <laughs> It was really good for the throat, actually. Okay, well, good for the soul. I think we'll uh, it's good for everything. The bourbon. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Never get claps. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and good night. Good. <laughs> Take us away. <laughs>